now it's 616 this morning. Gardening can open up a whole new world for you, your family, for local wildlife. I like plants and all. I just can't keep them alive. Anyway, News 3 Acre Pari Cruz went out in the community. She is in Norfolk to meet with one woman whose passion project turned into a pollinator's paradise. We all know gardening can feed our families and make our neighborhoods much more beautiful, but they can do so much more than just that. This garden right behind me started out as just a pollinator patch, and it has grown so much bigger than ever expected. And it all started with a why not? We've got a couple little dahlias out here, a butterfly bush, which smells incredible. While trying to get locally grown flowers for her wedding, D. Hall found a need. I was looking for locally grown flowers and I couldn't find anybody that had any and decided to address it. Her passion for plants and flowers growing not just in her yard, but also blooming into a business as well. Mermaid City Flowers selling locally grown flowers straight from her garden to her clients homes. I thought, you know, I can grow these things. I can take them to market. Why not? D operates on a collection of lots throughout Norfolk. Neighbors offering their unused garden spaces to be filled with color and life. It kind of grew from there. Now I'm at the point where I have like a waiting list of people who would like to have flowers in their spaces. Ah, I got to cut back this crepe myrtle. Most importantly, D practices sustainable gardening in all of her spaces, watering her gardens from rain barrels and applying mulch to keep weeds at bay. It's organic. I don't use any kind of chemicals or sprays that are detrimental to the environment or to people or to any other creatures. In addition, she plants native plants all year round, which are better for the local ecosystem. Native plants develop longer root systems. They have less need of, of watering. They are less likely to be invasive than things that are introduced in the environment. Planting native plants is essential to preserving the biodiversity here in Hampton Roads. Each garden becoming part of a collective landscape to help support pollinators, birds and other animals. They know they have a home where they can find food, where they can find shelter, where they can find water, where they can find rest. From pollinator patch to certified wildlife habitat, Dee's urban micro farm has come a long way. It's why she encourages and helps others who are interested in starting their own gardens as well. Don't be intimidated. It starts literally with one plant, like with one thing. It doesn't have to be this giant, massive acreage. A garden can be whatever it is you want it to be. The most important thing is that it's pleasing to you and it brings you joy. So if you'd like to start your own garden, Dee has helped many, many growers bring out their inner green thumbs. And she says we're lucky to be here in Hampton Roads because this area supports growing all year round. So if you'd like to connect with Dee and any resources that she might offer to new gardeners, check out this story on our website, WTKR.com. In Norfolk, I'm Pari Cruz, News 3.